Welcome to the Metal Shop Vlogs. Uh, today we do have Vibes Arise in with us. How are you guys doing today? What's good? up? Good. Yeah, doing doing well. good. Yeah. All right. Randy, it's Hi. good to see you again, brother. Uh, yeah. I always love brother. you. Yeah. I missed you, man. Yeah, I know. I haven't seen you in like, what, six months, a year? Yeah, I went to try to see you at the hospital, but they keep on, they kept on taking you away, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Leg injury. For like, for like surgeries and stuff. Yeah, four, five surgeries, I think. Five surgeries. Four. All right, well, guys, give me a little history of your band. How'd you guys start? Who started it? Um, I guess all of us, right? Yeah. Well, I guess we yeah, all... Like, mainly most of you guys, actually. They were jamming for a good while, and then I kind of got a word from a good friend of ours. And, yeah, they luckily asked me to try out. Try it out. I'm here. And, so... Yeah. So, I mean, who plays what? Because, I mean, you guys, six guys. You want to go on. down the line? Yeah, let's go down the line. I like lines, you know that. I, <laughs> I sing and I play electric guitar. I'm the bass player. I play the sax and uh, the keys. I'm the trumpet player. I play trombone and back of vocals. I play drums. And you. So musical influences, uh, do you guys have, you know, something to bring to the table from each different person or is it like a genuine love for all the same bands or influences? Well, for this band, I just wanted everybody to have their influences, no matter if it's rock or reggae or anything. For me, uh, the mighty Bob Marley influences me a lot. Well, of course. You know what I mean? And uh, I don't know, man. I could go down the line. What's I mean, your influences, bro? have to be a very... Metal, but jazz influence. I loved like Iron Maiden when I was little. Oh yeah, yep. I grew up with that kind of stuff. Megadeth, uh, like Deep Purple. That was like my, like beans and cheese. Oh yeah. Because I went beans in like kind of like my high school, <laughs> like days and stuff. I kind of got into bone the, soup into the, like I guess <laughs> com competitive jazz. And yeah. That's where I kind of met a lot of soloists. Well, not met them, but uh, looked into them like Victor Wooden, Stanley Clark, Chris right. Miller. They're all great bass players. There's way more. And that's where I'm at right Hell now. Hell yeah, cool, cool. Awesome, awesome. Um, there's so many bands that I could name. Um, you know, the, the, one of my favorite bands is definitely Revolution. Um, you know, you know, check them out. Yeah, definitely. Revolution. Right. Revolution. And, uh, well, I gotta say, I grew up with a lot of metal, but um, through high school, yeah, I grew up with a lot of jazz. Louis Armstrong. Um, I love, I love Arturo Sandoval. Uh, Maynard Ferguson is great, and then uh, when it came to ska, kind of reggae, I love Streetlight Manifesto. I gotta say that. Hell yeah. Nice. Yeah. Love them. <laughs> well, I, I started playing music when I was maybe 10, and uh, the first band I've ever, ever heard, and they would practice in my grandma's living room, this was Liquid Cheese. Oh, yeah. And, um, I was back, I used to go to Franklin, yeah. and Tina La yeah. Yeah. They, they were huge. Big influence <laughs> in my, my playing, my tone, everything. And uh, uh, the other bands too, but they're the main influence. The reason why I became a trombone player because my uncle played trombone for Liquid Cheese, yeah. and Fixed Idea. You know, I still I play with Fixed Idea as well, <coughs> but they were a big influence in my life growing up as well. But uh, yeah, Liquid Cheese is pretty much my only influence right now. Cool. Like a little bit of everything. Um, my main thing is rock. I also enjoy like hip hop and reggae, of course. Um, I like a lot of single pedal um, drummers, like, you know, you can name anything from like Foo Fighters, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Radiohead, you know, and, and pretty much any drummer that has like a single pedal. I like the creativity they can do with just uh, one pedal. So I never learned the whole double pedal Hell yeah. uh, metal stuff. I enjoy a lot of metal as well, like uh, Korn, Slipknot, you know, for big bands like that. Um, uh, my main uh, reggae influences would probably be like the new upcoming ones, like the Green, uh, you know, anything like in that category, you know, Revolution, like you said, um, Stick Figure, um, Slightly Stupid. They all yeah. have a mixture of like hip hop beats. Yeah. You know, that's basically what reggae is. It's also rock. And, and especially like, like locally, so locally, man. I really believe that uh, 
the local music scene back in the day influenced us a lot too oh yeah and he's in the band that got really influenced too back in the day i, I used to see uh fixed idea and like radio radio La choose and stuff like that seeing him on the big stage i was just like we gotta play that and that's what we're trying to do right now cool goals First off, I'd like to say I cannot believe that that microphone is actually working connected to your shirt right there. That's well, amazing. Usually, usually, you usually have to have it like right there in your mouth, so that, that's funny as hell. All right, but uh, getting back, getting back to everything. So, what would you guys describe your genre in itself? Um, I know it takes a lot of influences and everything like that. And no, it, man, I um, really thought about this. It's reggae, ska, and rock. That's what it is, man. And uh, we could have kept it reggae and ska, man. But I, I really feel like we, we're influenced by a lot of metal and mm -hmm. rock and roll when we grew up on that. So That's good. I don't want to opt that out in the band, especially, man. I want these people to express themselves. So, so reggae, ska, and rock. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> And as far as originals, I'm assuming you guys play originals, right? Yep, yep of course. Uh, what would you say, how many originals would you say you have? Oh, man. Well, we're actually practicing right now. I think we just hit, like, what is that? Eight. Like, seven or eight originals eight. right now? Eight we wrote a new one. Eight complete. Eight complete. Working on good in. dubs and stuff like that. Yeah. But, yeah, man, in the, in the time frame that we started the band, which was January... Of this year we have completed that almost those, that many songs that's not a bad that's not bad at all um it's great man it's good stuff that is that's actually really really good for i mean i knew some bands it would take them like four months to make you know half a song so. <laughs> this, this shit is pouring out of me man so I'm, yeah. I'm taking advantage you're like a musical faucet and these guys love practicing so I'm just like, oh, yeah let's do it well i mean what's the writing process like how do you guys get together and be like okay we're just going to get in a room together and we don't leave until we're done with something. Like, how does it work? Well, well, if someone has an idea, uh, we'll bring it amongst each other. A fixed idea? A fixed idea. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, no, like, well, if Randy has a, has a song, he'll show it to everybody. We'll work on it right there and then, and if it sounds a little rocky, we'll come back to it. Like, uh, uh, I wrote a song a couple of days ago, I showed these guys, and we were working on it today, and it's actually sounding pretty good. It's what just, are we going to call it, man? It's called Believe. Yeah, man. It's called yeah. Believe. Believe. Watch Believe. out. Man. This yeah. I believe. <laughs> <laughs> everyone, has a, everyone has a say, you know. We're not, if someone has something that they want to present, we, we're open about it. Yeah, you know? definitely. And we try. We try not six so. people, you know, judging it, so, <laughs> I mean. Yeah, you know. For song that's 12 writing, that's 12 years for, <laughs> so. yeah. Yeah. for songwriting for me man um i really try to concentrate on the music first but sometimes i feel it man i really do and i just get on the vocals i start with uh with a rhythm in my voice and from there it just takes off yeah yeah cool well what about recordings do you guys have any recordings as of yet garage recording style right now oh, they're all phone recordings. right now phone we recordings. have yeah. live recordings so <laughs> we we've only played two shows man and and um we have video of those two shows actually but we're looking to to record uh we're still contemplating on whether we should do it ourselves or actually go to a studio right but save the money save and be able to do it and uh we want to concentrate on the sound mostly you know what i mean if mm -hmm. we want to make it raw then we'll just do it ourselves why not man you know right. so save some books right on right on <laughs> So for anybody that wants to get a hold of you guys as far as, uh, you know, check out what you're doing, what your progress is, any kind of social media outlets that you guys particularly use? Yeah, well, we have, um, definitely we have all, all the uh, Facebook, we have Twitter. Um, we're still working on our 
website, which is vibesarise.com. Right, and what, any, any other one? All right. And well, uh, what are the? Uh, I mean, what are the the Facebook uh, addresses or Instagram? Like, what do you guys go under? Just vibes arise. Vibes arise. Yes. All right, cool. So they can just reach you there easy. Um, any promoters you guys like uh, going through, using particularly that uh, you know get you the best shows, or what venues do you guys like to play at the well, most? We would have to really thank our manager too, Stephanie. She gets a lot of like the information for all the venues, all the shows. She gets the word out there for us. She's the one that pretty much is in charge of all that kind of like social media, like stuff and stuff. And she lets us know whether people are like. Liking it, yeah, or... liking it or not, yeah, <laughs> that's the biggest important. So you guys part. gotta put more pictures on it. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> um, as for thinking, I just want to thank these guys for you know uh, going with the journey that we started too, man. Because this is awesome, bro. <laughs> it's really cool, and how fast we've we've come and stuff like that. And, um, and it's great. Yeah, have you guys uh, played any shows? Like, I know you said you had some, some show videos. Where did you guys play the... What were the venue that you played at? Well, we played in uh, uh, Las Cruces with... Um, uh, El Patio? What El Patio. El Patio. There with right. Roar right. and... Patio. Uh, El Patio. El Patio. Get it right. Oh, 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 <laughs> right. <laughs> El Patio. <laughs> and then Eleanor Rigby's. We did that one. Eleanor Rigby's. We love playing Eleanor uh, Rigby's. Everybody loves that place. Like, yeah, I'm always hearing really things about it. It's a Beatles thing, man. Yeah. It's a Beatles thing, yeah. That's my favorite band. Well, we have some shows coming up, too. Uh, we actually are going to play with Rhythms from Albuquerque. They're coming down here. Um, also... Pato Banton. May 19th. May 19th. We May 19th. Five points. Banton. Five points, right? Five points. Yes, May 19th. Sure. And then we got invited again to go play Ski Apache up in the Oh, hell yeah. Um, up in the mountains. Up in the mountains. Yes. What is a Mescalero, New Mexico? I don't know. I think that's what I it is. I just call it Rio Dos. Yeah, it's, it's all up in the mountains, <laughs> man. Cloudcroft, oh, it's Rio yeah, Dos. Yeah. It, it's all the same. It's all it's same. Us. We're going yeah. to Rio Dos, though. Right. We're going to uh, I think the. The main band opening over there is, I mean, uh, the headliner, Hoobastank. Hoobastank. We're going to open up for Hoobastank. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's there's pretty some cool. good shows booked up to uh, get us going. Awesome, guys. So you guys seem like you're doing really, really good right now. Keep it up. Yeah, we're trying. Thank you. All right, and do you guys have anybody you want to uh, give a shout out to before we uh, end First this? First of all, I want to give a shout out to Joe and Judy for letting us be on this, and uh, you know, um, let's see who else. Who do you want to oh, give a shout, shout out, out to? to Ricky and Stephanie? Yeah, well, yeah man, to Ricky really for like helping that. us out. Yeah, they make this work pretty well, much for without us. them. Um, you know, this us. would have happened. Yeah, you let us practice. Right, also, I want to thank everybody that goes to El Paso shows. Uh, it drives us El Paso bands to do a little bit more and a little bit better. The people, yeah. Shout out to all the people that go out to all the shows. And remember, those big bands that you see on TV, they were local bands just like us. So. At some point, that's true. <laughs>
So remember, if you're a local band, just hit us up at the Metal Shop Vlogs. We'll be more than happy to give you the exposure that you like and uh, you probably need. Um, so just hit us up uh, anytime, Metal Shop Vlogs, once again. I did want to thank you guys for uh, coming on. Thank you. Thanks right. for having thank us. You. And yeah. not, thank not, you. A, thank not a problem so at all. It's all about the band. So, you know, wish you guys the most success and namaste. Oh. Thanks oh. for watching the Metal Shop Vlogs. Have hold a on, good hold day. Hold on, hold on, hold on.